Hello. We have here a piece of bismuth, a very beautiful uh, element. And bismuth is element number 83. And uh, from a video, uh, periodic videos, which I enjoy, uh, I learned that bismuth is the highest atomic number element that is not radioactive. Although it is actually slightly radioactive, but it has a very, very, very long half-life. It, it's an alpha emitter, and it uh, becomes thallium. So bismuth is element number 83 here, and it becomes thallium when it emits, but it, it has a real long lifetime. So I thought I'd do a little, um, um, a little calculation to show about how many alpha particles this piece of bismuth gives off every day. And uh, it's uh, 15.75 grams in mass. So let's go and do the calculation. It's a good, a good example of the factor label method or conversion method that uh, students sometimes have difficulty with. So let's give it a shot. OK, as I said, bismuth is not very radioactive, but uh, it, it does emit alpha particles very slowly. And when it does emit an alpha particle, bismuth-209 becomes thallium-205. <clears throat> the atomic number goes down by 2. And the half-life is reported to be 1.9 times 10 to the 19 years. Now, that's much longer than the age of the universe. So let's do a little calculation to figure out how many um, alpha particles are emitted per day. And uh, I'm going to do it in a simple way in this video, and then uh, in a second video, I'm going to do it uh, using uh, a little more complex mathematics. So um, our sample, as I said, was 15.75 grams. And <clears throat> so uh, using the factor label method, we're going to convert that 15.75 grams to moles and then to atoms. So we multiply by 1 over the atomic weight, gram molecular, gram atomic weight, and then we multiply up by Avogadro's number to get the number of atoms in the sample. So after 1.9 times 10 to the 19th years, half of these atoms will have decayed. Thus, half of this number will have changed to thallium. Okay. Thus, uh, 2.27 times 10 to the 22 atoms of bismuth will decay after a half-life, 1.9 times 10 to the 19 years. And 2.27 times 10 to the 22 atoms will remain. So let's kind of get the average um, emission of alpha particles over this period. How many alpha particles are emitted per day on average during this 1.9 times 10 to the 19 year period? So it's a very little simple um, problem in uh, uh, factor label uh, conversions. We have 2.27 times 10 to the 22 emissions over the 1.9 times 10 to the 19 years. So that's the number of emissions per year on average and divide by the number of days in a year, and we get 3.3 emissions per day on average. Now, you got to remember that uh, during this long period, the uh, rate of emission is going to change. In the beginning, you have a high amount of uh, bismuth. And at the end of this 10 to the 19 year period, you have only half as much bismuth. So the rate of emission is going to change uh, during this long period. But on average, there'll be about three per day. And we'll come back in another video to look at it uh, in a more uh, sophisticated and mathematical way. So thank you for your attention. I'll see you on the next video.